All right, so here we are. We got a 2000 Zuzu Trooper. Um, belongs to my sister. I saw it, and I'm replacing the starter in it. I saw a video on the YouTubes. I'll link to that. It said you could save quite a bit of time by undoing a couple of motor mounts and lifting the engine as opposed to undoing the exhaust manifold there on the right bank. So but that guy was professional. It was pretty good, pretty good video, and he had all the fancy wobbly tools and all that stuff and lift, <laughs> lift. Yeah, I got a jack. Uh, but I wanted to give you a quick video and see what that looks like from the DIY guy perspective, and it don't get much more DIY than a brother trying to help his stinking sister. So here we go. So basically, I'll disconnect the battery. Uh, and, and another person has tried to fix this for him and he ran into the rusty exhaust bolts and couldn't get any further. But what was recommended is that there's a couple of uh, uh, engine mount bolts down there and looking at it from this and he said to undo them and then you'd be able to tilt the motor up looking at it from this angle i don't know how in the world he got something down there to get after those bolts but it looks like and he suggested this looks like if i undo that flange there i'll be able to get to the bolts so uh, they should be right right below the steering column there. Um, so just hiding on the other side of the uh, shock there. So I'm going to take the tire off, uh, jack it up evenly, get the jack stands under there, and then uh, take the tire off and we'll see what it looks like from there. All right, now I can definitely see how he got to him from above, but you can see him right down. Where are they? Oh, right there. That's one of them. Right there and the others right there. So I'll undo those two. I've got a pretty straight shot at them with an extension from under here. And then uh, we ought to be able to lift up the motor a little and get them out, uh, slide that starter out. Oh, I think I'm also gonna remove that cross member that kinda makes an arch there. That kinda gave them some trouble in the video. So let's see what happens. All right, so once you, uh, I want to show you what this looks like. Now you got to be careful when lifting because on the motor, you're lifting on the oil pan. So you can kind of see I've put a board in there, a two before. And no, I didn't cut the board that shape. That's just the one I have. But you, I think I can get it out without removing the cross member there. And that looks like a pain. I bet those, those bolts go all the way through. And I bet they're pretty tight. Um, but I've got this board here. So it's going to lift right like that and pick up. And I'll show you about how much movement I get out of it.
So I don't want that board just right. Something like that. And then from this angle, you'll be able to see just how much it moves. And you don't want to overdo it here because you could crush the oil pan or break something else. But as soon as you start to feel that, put more lift on anything else and that's that's pretty solid I know it looks kind of crooked on the board there but it's not gonna slip anywhere and then um, so as I mentioned the bolts on the starter were taken out by the last guy who couldn't quite figure it out so he put them back in loosely but so I already got those bolts out, and then you can see the starter is right up, right up inside there, there you can see the solenoid. So once that's there, the operation to get it out, uh, I removed, there's a shroud that goes over the wiring right here, and I removed that. But check this out, so what you've gotta do is, there's the starter. Uh, trying to show you the best I can. There's the starter there. And in order to get it out through this hole, you've actually got to go up with the starter piece of it and then down with the back end of it. So now you can see there's the Here's the back end of the starter right there. And so now with that back end down, let's see if I can do this one handed. I don't know if I can. Sorry about all the shaky camera. So, so, oh, there goes my watch. Fitbit. At least I'm getting steps. So now you can see it and I've kind of spun the solenoid around so that it's kind of towards the front of the vehicle now. And See it's starting to come out. Just slide this wiring harness all the way over. See and there's the solenoid starting to pop out. And there is about none extra room here. I had this out a second ago and I put it back in so I could show you guys. I think I got my board a little crooked from where I had it before, so I'm gonna go actually adjust that board.
reaching on that back edge again. about as far as it's gonna go and then that starter will probably pop right out this time oh yeah about fell out so there's the starter there Flip it around so that the cylinder's on the outside. Are you freaking kidding me? like a dang finger trap. I don't know if you can even see anymore, but I don't think I can. I swear to you, I have it. Freaking out. to edit out some swear words here in a second, I'm sure. Piece of poop. So now, 
I hope you were paying attention to how that came out because that's the same way and I have to get it back in. The other thing I gotta look at is what the crap that guy disconnected whilst he was in there. And it looks like none of it's gonna be fine. All right, well, so there you have it. You know for sure that you can get the starter up and out of the way, or the starter out without disconnecting the rusty exhaust if you just lift up the motor a little. We'll put that starter back in and then we'll check in. All right, it was no small task, but I got the new frickin' starter in there. It's all bolted up. See it back up in there, all pretty, shiny. Um, I got the connection there. I got the power reconnected on the end there, and uh yeah it wasn't super easy to get in but i was able to do it i let the motor back in back down uh to put most of the bolts in because it brought it down a little closer to the ground so now i'm gonna uh, put those motor mount bolts back in um and uh put that little cover back on right there uh, to protect the wiring from below and we'll start her up and see if she works all right she's all buttoned up this is legitimately the moment of truth howl of freaking luya well, I feel pretty good about myself. Baby sister, it's a good thing your brother's a badass. Oh, and thanks, Mr. YouTube man. I forget your name, but I'll link to your video in the description. That uh, whole motor mount, engine lift thing, I think this would have probably been a two day, two night job if it weren't for that. So, thank you, sir.